everyone, how's it going? Uh, I am coming to you from my cosplay class set because uh, the pigeon I rescued is living in the room where my other set is and Orf is hellbent on attacking the pigeon. <laughs> but uh, the pigeon's doing well. Uh, he, I rescued him from the street. He has a little like bum leg and I've named him or her Brewster. I was gonna name her Celeste from Animal Crossing but I decided Brewster because Brewster's a pigeon. And um, yeah, she's super cute. She's a feral pigeon, which means that, um, I mean, she was born outside, but pigeons are an invasive species, so a lot of wildlife rehabilitation centers and things won't actually take pigeons in. So a lot of people in their homes who are pigeon fanciers will rehabilitate them. And um, I'm hoping that she gets her strength back and I can release her, but if I can't, then she has a home with me because she's lovely. She lets me scratch her when she forgets that I'm a person and thinks I'm a pigeon, and it's super cute. Um, when she starts feeling better, I'll show you guys on the video because she's just sweetest little burb. So cute, burb. Um, and we did that while we were, we rescued this pigeon while we were getting supplies for my Blathers costume, which is why I named it Brewster. Um, we're making a video, my friend Hillary and I, with Blathers. We took him to Little Tokyo and Anime Expo, and we're gonna do a fun video with him, and it was just so much fun, and I'll do a tutorial on how I made him, too, because it had some challenging parts that I think you guys would like to hear about, because making a mascot costume can be interesting <laughs> so I've got some uh, fun tips for you on that um, what else is new there's just been so much oh we went to Susie's bug show which was amazing I've actually got some footage of the bug show and how many amazing awesome people were there it was so crowded and I bought an amazing giant bug menagerie from my wall in my D&D room but um here go watch the bug show footage go watch go watch it just go just go and drink my coffee so much fun at Susie's Bug Show and it was amazing to get to see all of the people show up to support her artwork and all the hard work she put into putting that show on. She made countless pieces and that's really really hard to do so yay Susie and you get to go to taxidermy school now so good for you. I think um, her and the rest of the crew are on their way to Ireland right now so safe flight guys, go have fun, go say hi to Ireland for all of us while we're here at home taking care of pigeons. Um, the next thing we did is we went to uh, 
amazing Las Vegas and had another Crab Cat booth, which was super, super fun. Um, Jessica and I did some fun, goofy costumes over the weekend. Um, we wore our tiefling and drow, and I accidentally dyed my hair purple, so I was a purple haired drow, whatever. <laughs> and uh, we also hosted their costume contest, which was a blast. And um, we also did, uh, what other costumes? Oh, we wore Rococo Punk costumes, which was so much fun. We like want to wear them and wander around a neighborhood and eat cake and it'll be amazing. Um, it, was, it was a really, really fun convention. And uh, hopefully we'll get to go to more amazing uh, cons in the future. They have like a whole slew of cons across the US. So we'll see, because I, I would love to go. And I think they're, they were super nice folks and they were really wonderful to us. So here, watch some Las Vegas footage where Jessica and I see the uh, Bonnie and Clyde car, like a Vicky and Vance from, uh, from New Vegas. Wee! And Lizzie's there too, wee! All right, okay. okay. Let's see what I mean. All right, Holly, in three seconds, be fierce. Three, two, one. Lizzie, what do you think of the car? Pretty magnificent. Is it euphoric? Hey Jessica, what are you doing? I'm giving myself a Santa beard, of course. Can I see? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hooray! So that was super fun. Um, we've just been crazy busy. And next stop is Comic Con, and we have some super secret fun things planned for that. So if you guys are there, keep your eyes and ears peeled for more Crab Cat good times. Um, Jessica's sick, she has a cold, so everyone tweet at her, at Jessica Marazin, to get better and to get well soon, because she brought me a flower crown from London and all she got was a cold. <laughs> so go tweet at Jessica and tell her to get well soon. Um, other than that, I am just doting on my little pigeon and um, working on getting the Blathers video out because I'm so excited because it's just the cutest darn thing in the world. Oh, and we did a collaboration. We did a collaboration with Becky, who was wonderfully sweet and super nice and cute and adorable and inspired me to wear more flower crowns. And um, I also have a collaboration coming up with Lizzie, LD Shadow Lady, who is also wonderfully sweet. And um, I'll show you in that video that video is coming out soon on how to make familiars like I make and sell on my Instagram. And I had Lizzie make one, so I'm really excited to show you guys that. Um, other than that, I have a wonderfully exciting drink tip for you guys. So, um, this is cold brew coffee, which you can get from like Trader Joe's and like anywhere. Um, this is Secret Squirrel cold brew coffee, which I like love. I think it's really, really good. And I mix it with um, sparkling water. So if you have sparkling water and cold brew coffee, mix it together and it's just super good. I don't know what makes cold brew coffee better with sparkling water, but it's amazing. Just, just trust me, just try it out. I know it sounds like a super hipster drink, but just trust me, it's, it's good. It's really good. It's good. Super tasty. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for watching Cosplay Class. I've been really focusing on that lately, but I want to get more fun vlogs out to you guys where I talk about exciting things that I'm doing, which is most of the time not that exciting, and different things you can check out like cold brew coffee and sparkling water and different art books and places to be inspired and be creative and have fun. Um, yeah, just stay positive and be creative and have fun and hug your cats and your pigeons. And a little cosplay class owl action for you.